Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome to the Wisco Boater channel and another episode of the Bosun 11 build. Uh, I've got the shop cleaned out. There was a shelf over there and some other stuff in that corner. There was a bunch of stuff in this corner. All gone, moved out to the garage. And today I am working on setting up the uh, floor struts. I got a center line marked. I've got each board already cut, so I'm kind of stepping into this video uh, with a few things already started because cutting these boards, which are just um, one by threes, two by threes, um, just cutting them straight to the, to the uh, length according to the plans. I'll show that here in just a second. What I found out is, uh, well, I already knew that this floor was not level. It's got a slope to it so that if anything, if any liquid spills in here, it goes out the garage. So I knew I was going to be dealing with a floor that wasn't level. I'm also dealing with a floor that is kind of bumpy. It's got some, uh, they didn't do a great job of, of grading it nice and flat. So here's what I think I'm going to do. So if I take a look at this, uh, the floor strut back here, as it sits, you can see the bubble level or the bubble in the level is all the way to the right. Now in order to get that centered, bubble centered, it's gotta come off the floor that much. The plans call for fixing the temporary struts to the floor by nails or screws. My plan was, to use some uh, liquid nails and just coat the bottoms of the boards, stick them down, and that way they're not gonna move. That's not gonna work. So my plan now is to get the frames attached to the boards with the bottoms, with the bottom of the temporary strut on the frames flush with the bottom of the floor struts and then figure out uh, some sort of shim piece of wood or something to shim each temporary strut up to level and then I'm going to take uh, some longer boards and drill a long board longitudinally into each one of these floor, floor frames so they can't move relative to each other. Uh, they'll that way, well, I'll still be able to move it around that way. Nothing gets stuck to the floor, but all frame stations uh, stay correct and true to uh, relative to one another. So that's when, uh, that's the problem that I'm working on figuring out today. And uh, yeah, I'll record as much of it as I can. All right, so I've got the uh, transom uh, floor strut frame number three floor strut attached and frame number two floor strut attached. Uh, last one will be the frame number one here. And I think I said I would show this earlier, but that's the floor plan. Everything measured off of a center line. And you can see the, for frame number one, the floor strut goes on the aft side. So it will go like this. So I've got a center line on the frame, center line on the floor strut, center line on the floor. So I line all those up and we get pretty close to the same distance on either side of the board. That one actually balances right there. Uh, number two doesn't balance because the floor is not level. So I'm going to use the uh, uh, the walkway side here as my the pivot for each of the uh, the the floor struts. So I'm going to raise that end of each one and uh, block it up to make them level, and then uh, connect them with a couple of other boards running uh, longitudinally. This side of the floor pretty is pretty good. Uh, really close to level across this way. And it has a pretty decent uh, flat surface 
no real humps or bumps in this area. Those are mainly over there. So if I use this side, uh, which would be the starboard side of the boat to pivot the port side up, I'll get uh, a nice level floor struts all the way around. Okay, well, it's about as far back as I can get to show all four or the three frames in the transom in place. So I'll show you, I'll go back to frame number one. So this is what I meant by just putting a little shim on that side, they are screwed in place on each frame and on the transom. If I come down to the bubble, it is level and it is level on all of them. Probably don't need to do this for the video, but just so I have it for me, is that gonna stay? Okay, level. Number three is level. And transom is level. I also, used a uh, board, well, a spare block, I guess we'll call it, along with a clamp in order to be sure that the, uh, the uh, transom is level vertically. And we get it straight there. And I can't quite get the best view I can get with the phone. So the transom is horizontally and vertically level. Uh, now I'm going to run a board from each of the uh, floor struts forward. I don't know if I have a board long enough to go all four, uh, but I can do at least three and then connect the front one with a, a couple of other boards. So there's the layout in the, uh, in the shop here. Steadying boards, as I will call them, are in place. Everything is nice and square along the center line. You can see the center line on the floor across each board right there and all the way down. So the whole thing is technically movable, but the frames relative to each other will not move. I can still kind of uh, tip them, or tip them. I can still level them vertically if I have to, because they have some play this way, but otherwise they are, the spacing is set. Um, after you get the hog made, the uh, stem will go right on that mark and it'll mount up uh, somewhere right in there. I still have to put a bevel on the stem. I, I gotta put a bevel on the number one frame here. So I'm gonna borrow my neighbor's router. Um, I have a router, but mine is fixed base. I need one fixed base. I need one that uh, will do angles. So bought a new router bit last night just for that purpose. This is looking really good. I'm really happy with how this puzzle worked out. Um, I got it solved. It's still movable. And um, I have just the right amount of space. Like this is the biggest sized boat lengthwise I could build in here with an inch to spare on this end and maybe two inches, inch and a half, two inches on that end. Looks awesome. So thanks for watching this uh, short episode of the Boson 11 project. Uh, don't really uh, want to get into anything else at this point. Uh, honestly, mainly because I can't. I don't have the wood yet to do the next segment, uh, but all I'm going to do um, is get the bevel 
foot on the frame number one and the bevel on the stem. And uh, that's really just a, a quick matter of running the router. So thanks for watching everybody. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and uh, send me some comments. We'll see you next time on Lewis Go Boater Channel. Happy boating everybody.